Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Day Classic, and we're back at it again with another episode. So what is it this week? Masters of the Universe. More Origins figures? Nope. The original line? Nope. The Classics line? Jesus, no. Those are way too expensive. Well then what the hell is it then? Masterverse. What? It's the Masters of the Universe Revelation Masterverse figures based on the Netflix original series Masters of the Universe Revelation. Jeez, there's true He-Man lines going on right now? Nope. What? There's three! Get the fuck out of here. Well, there's Origins, then there's these figures that are based on the Netflix series, and then there's a whole other set of figures based on a whole other Netflix series that's for kids. Oh, come on, aren't they all for kids? No, not really. Shut up. Anyway, today we take a look at Masters of the Universe Revelations Masterverse figures by Mattel. Try saying that three times fast. Let's not and say we did. Just like most people did with watching the show. Raz Holly, hit the music! Masters of the Universe is a media franchise owned by toy maker juggernaut Mattel and revolves around the exploits of He-Man and friends in their battles against the evil forces of Skeletor in the magical land of Eternia. Part sword and sorcery with a dash of science fiction, Masters of the Universe answers the question, what do you get when you mix the world of Conan the Barbarian with laser guns and spaceships? But the whole thing was made to sell action figures, and from 1982 to 1988, Mattel ran the toy maker table with the iconic line. By the end of the 1980s, He-Man and Friends seemed passe next to Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers that would take their place at the top of the toy heap. An underwhelming reimagining in the early 2000s failed to capture the imaginations of new fans. Mattel learned then that it was nostalgia selling He-Man, if anything, so that's what they did with Funko, Super 7, and the overpriced collector targeted classics figures line. Seriously, some of the best figures you can get for these characters, if you can get them. In 2020, Mattel seemingly forgot the last two or three times they tried to reboot He-Man and forged ahead with two new reimaginings of the classic universe. One for kids and one for adults, I guess? Anyway, I didn't watch either of them, so if you're looking for a review of the series, I'm sure about a jillion other people on this platform already did. What I'm here to talk about is the toys, which were more plentiful on the shelves than any other big property I've seen lately. In fact, I waited months before picking them up, so I'm assuming they didn't sell very well, or Mattel is producing more than enough to go around. Either way, we'll take a look at the first four figures available at retail. He-Man, Skeletor, Evil Lynn, and Moss Man. I can't wait any longer, so let's take a look at the Masters of the Universe Revelation Masterverse figures by Mattel. Alright, so from 2021, it's the Masterverse Masters of the Universe Revelation He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. So the one thing I wanted to focus on was the word Masterverse as it is printed on the top of the box. Masterverse, much like Multiverse, the other Mattel line for the DC figures, sort of covers all of the DC universe and various uh, things therein, from characters from uh, the comics, the video games, the movies, so on and so forth. And uh, I've got to believe that it won't just be Masters of the Universe Revelation, it will be that and beyond. Once this this series is over, and I'm not sure if it's going to come back for a second season or not, um, once this season is over though, um, they may continue with other figures. This might be the main line for Masters of the Universe, um, more like a retail version of the Classics line, which honestly is is who could ask for anything more 
Uh, but let's take a look at this figure right here in particular. This is He-Man from Masters of the Universe Revelation. And let me go ahead and preface, and I'm sure I already said this. I, I didn't watch the, the show. Um, I, I don't. I don't really care. I know that it's divisive or whatever. Some people liked it, some people not so much. Um, I didn't really care to watch it in the first place. Um, just didn't, wasn't really interested, but do like the design of the character. I think it's very, very cool looking. I think He-Man looks awesome here. Um, let's take a look at the at what we've got here. We've got an extra pair of hands. We got the sword. We got the shield. We've got the figure displayed very nicely in the box. We know what it comes with and what it is. Let's turn it around, and we've got some great art on the back. It says Defender of Castle Grey Skull, Protector of Planet Eternia, and Guardian of the entire universe. There is nobody stronger, faster, or braver than the mighty He-Man. He is quite simply the most powerful man in the universe, past, present, or future. A vessel for the mysterious power of Grayskull, He-Man inspires the heroes of Eternia to fight the forces of evil. Without He-Man, Eternia and the universe would be doomed. Um, this almost really reminds me more of, um, when I take a look at it, because I'm actually more familiar with, is the the uh, the comic books the uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe versus the uh, the DC guys and versus the Thundercats so on and so forth sort of the art from those books a uh, big buff He-Man um, with the with the hair flopping all over the place really it does it does have that look uh, to me at least and um, yeah and I, I'll probably be making more references to the comics than I am and anything else but. Let's uh, let's go on and see what we got next. Next up, we have Skeletor, nicely packaged here. We have this uh, this wizard skull face man. Um, looks like he's got a great looking cape on. Comes with another pair of hands, of course. Uh, he has the havoc staff and uh, this uh, ring gimmick. Um, I don't know what that is, but very cool nonetheless. Um, maybe it's a it's a looks like maybe a magnifying glass or an onk or I don't know. But let's take a look at the back of the box here. We've got a really cool picture of Skeletor here. Uh, Skeletor, evil lord of destruction. For ages, Skeletor ravaged the land and terrorized the people of Eternia in his quest to capture all of the power in the universe for himself. Now, the nefarious scourge of Eternia plots his final hostile takeover of Castle Grayskull. With dark magic, devious technology, and an army of loyal soldiers at his back, this sinister sorcerer believes this time nothing can stop him, not even He-Man. <laughs> there he is uh, in all of his skeletory glory on the back of the box there in a very nice looking uh, piece of art. These are collector's boxes. You are able to take the figure out, look at it, put it back in the box if you want to. We've got the collect them all also available. These figures, these have been readily available everywhere. <laughs> Target, Walmart, so on and so forth. I've seen these all over the place. Um, it, you didn't have to. You, you didn't have to not waste time and, and snap them up because it seems like um, you know either there was a very good amount of stock available or they weren't very popular. I don't know why they wouldn't be very popular. They're really awesome looking. Who do we've got next? Next is Evil Lynn. Um, as we can see, she is packaged in the box with her um, magic gimmick scepter thing. Um, looks like she has two of them. She has a long one and a short one. I don't know if in this series she has it and it extends out or... Um, I don't know! She also comes with uh, three pairs of hands. That's pretty cool. Also, another head with the with the long hair look. With the never, never seen her without her, her her mask on. Imagine she's gonna look very different without that. It's gonna be uh, kind of hard to tell who she is with that on. But still, very very cool. Also has a, a bag, uh, a uh, shoulder bag that she's got there. Uh, extra accoutrement, if you will. Awesome accessories. Looks like. And as we turn the box around, we've got a. A uh, great illustration of Evil Lynn, evil warrior goddess. The dark sorceress, ever present by Skeletor's side, weaves sinister spells to assist in his quest to conquer Castle Grayskull. A dangerous foe with malicious intent, Evil Lynn is not above allying herself with the heroic warriors for her own ambition and the untapped universal power held within Eternia. 
Whether standing on the side of evil or the side of good, Evil Lynn is to be feared but never trusted. And uh, yeah, there she is. And uh, what a great looking box. Again, same cross sell. These boxes are all basically the same. And who do we have next? Next is Mossman, and I saved him for last because honestly, he is the coolest looking figure in the series so far. Very, very awesome. This is my, if I were to rank them, this would be number one so far in this series here. This Moss Man is great. He is evocative of the Swamp Thing, um, and then you see that in the in the comics the swamp thing and and uh and moss man are, are connected somehow as elementals so it's kind of cool uh that, that there is that that sort of association there and then we do have sort of a uh a almost swamp thingish look of uh, of moss man here very very cool looking uh moss man comes with uh, three pairs of hands and an extra vines hand um, that he can, he can shoot vines out at you. Very monstrous and green and awesome. Super cool. Let's turn this box around. It says Moss Man, heroic spy and master of camouflage. Once believed to be nothing more than a legend, the mythical preternian plant creature Mossman is wise beyond his million years. His powers of great strength, plant control, and shape-shifting into any form of plant life make him an invaluable ally to He-Man in the fight against Skeletor. As a protector of Castle Greyskull's secrets, Mossman's sagely advice helps guide his friend He-Man to the right path. And we have this great looking illustration of Moss Man and uh, you've got Beast Man and Skeletor in the uh, in the background there and a little, little, little dragonfly. That's kind of cool. Very, very nice. These are, this is actually some really great art on these boxes, but we don't care about the art on the box. I want to know what these figures look like. So let's not waste any more time and see what these figures look like outside of the box. Okay, so here is He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe, um, outside of the box. And I gotta say, this thing is very, very nice for a $20 action figure. Um, maybe a little bit more than $20, I don't, depending on where you get it. Um, very, very cool. Great articulation, modern articulation, obviously. We got double knee joints, double elbow joints. Um, he is kind of muscle bound, so you're not going to get super Spider-Man poses out of him, um, but does have the all the sort of articulation that you would want from a figure like this. Um, very, very nice, about a seven inch style figure, um, compatible with, I don't know, a little bit bigger than a Marvel Legends figure. Um, maybe in the, maybe it's about the size of one of the, the wrestling figures. I don't know! It's about in a seven inch scale. Um, I'm not sure what these are compatible with. Maybe it's compatible with some of those McFarlane figures since they're all over the damn map when it comes to scale. Uh, but this is a very, very cool looking figure. Great looking detail on the face. Great looking paint job. I mean, looks like I guess he does in the cartoon, but evokes He-Man as well enough as, as any. No more Templar cross on the chest here. We've got the, the H for, for He-Man. <laughs> He's got on his chest. Um, it's, I guess it's a design choice. If they were to do another, another classic style He-Man in the Masterverse, maybe they'd, they'd give him that Templar cross on the chest. Who knows? Who cares? Um, he's got the, the, the chest piece here. Um, and it, it does attach on the back. You can't take it on and off, but why would you want to? Looks great. This is also removable. His little, uh, wristband, his gauntlet, his his wrist guard that he has here comes with a uh, comes with a couple of other hands here. He's got a he's got a punch and fist in an open hand on when he comes packaged. He also comes with two holy hands left and right. Very very cool. Nothing you don't need a whole lot more than that really. You got a punch and fist, you got a holy hand, you got an open hand. Um what else more do you need? You've got the uh, the sword of power here. Um, very, very cool looking, two-sided, awesome. And the shield, very nice, does not come with the ax, um, but the shield is very nice looking and uh, goes on like like friggin' magic. You can just you just pop this on, it gets goes right over the little wristband there on that thing and stays on nice. Um, 
ain't going nowhere. Um, stays on good. You can pose them and do all sorts of cool stuff. The you know the, the hands go off and on very very easily. It is a very very nice figure. Um, an awesome seven inch He Man. You could you could probably set them up right next to your multiverse figures if you wanted to, and they wouldn't look so what so out of place. They're uh, they're very very good figures so far. Um, I'm impressed with this He Man. I, I feel like it's worth the money. Okay, so here is Skeletor out of the box, and um, as you can see, very nice details on this Skeletor. Comes packed with a fist hand and an open slapping hand, or a, like a, doing a magic ha spell hand, or something like that. Um, very, very cool from head to toe. Great looking sculpt. Great looking, like very precise paint job on this the skull part looks really really cool inside the box i wasn't so sure i think it, the the box casts weird shadows on these figures and makes them look kind of kind of silly um when you get them out while they look they look really really good and uh the, the posability got lots of posability on these things they do come a little stiff in the box but with a little work, uh, you just sort of work the joints a little bit, you can get some really, really great poses out of him. He also comes with another pair of hands. He's got uh, a grabbing hand, a holding hand, if you will, and uh, this sort of uh, pointy finger, sort of also sort of grabbing hand as well that you can use for a lot of different things. Um, great, great posability on these, great looking, like, and then like little details, like the fingernails are all black. Very, very cool. Um, also comes with um, the Havoc Staff. Wow, look at the colors on that. Very awesome. Look at the sculpt on that. Nice little uh, sheep skull. Um, very look, cool looking paint job. Not just the one color. Got multiple colors on there. Got some shading for the, for the fine details. Uh, goes all the way down uh, to a nice point. Looks great in the figure's hand. Also, comes with uh, this, um, I don't know what this is, a magnifying glass, uh, something he can play peekaboo with. Is it a cane? He's an old man. He's gonna walk on a cane. I don't know! Perhaps it's from the show. Perhaps I should have watched it to find out. Perhaps I don't care. Um, he also comes with that, so, so there you go. Um, and then that's it, but pretty much very, very cool looking figure. Nice fabric cape, thick, thick fabric cape. Very, very cool. Um, nice little details all over the place. Gonna get some great poses out of these. It's gonna look awesome on your shelf. This is a great looking Skeletor figure. Um, yeah, some weird changes here and there as far as uh, you know what we remember from the character or what's recognizable, but he's not completely unrecognizable uh, whatsoever. Like you do look at them, you know who this is supposed to be. You know that it's Skeletor and it's a very, very nice version of Skeletor. Uh, I gotta say, another, another awesome addition to the collection. Okay, so let's take a look at Evil Lynn. Um, wow, great, great detail on this figure um, all the way around. Nice looking textures and everything on the on the gear, on the outfit. She's got her pirate boots on. She's got her gauntlets. Comes with uh, three pairs of hands. She's got punching fists, two punching fists, two holding hands, and two magic spell hands um, to use to make magic spells. You can get great poses because she's not as muscle bound as a Skeletor and He-Man. Wow, you can get some really awesome looking poses on this figure. Comes with the standard uh, Evil Lynn head, the helmeted head that we would recognize from the, you know, sort of iconic character. Not sort of, completely iconic character of Evil Lynn um, from Masters of the Universe. This, uh, this helmet, uh, well known around the world as Evil Lynn's helmet. Look at that face. Great looking sculpt. Great looking sculpt. Great looking paint job. Very exact. Very, very nice. Tiny little details in the changes of color on the skin. Um, very, very cool looking. For a $20 figure, this is actually pretty, pretty awesome. Comes with accessories. Comes with the, her magic staff. Um, 
kind of the small version and uh, comes with the the regular size version <laughs> like the long one that you, that you would want her to have very very cool this is a translucent plastic on the on the ball on the middle there so you can shine a light through it get some really cool effects on that also comes with this shoulder bag because she's got all her magic uh, gear in there that's a little paint apps on it um, very very nice as well um, hangs better on the head that this head um, comes with the long hair the hair down on on evil Lynn uh, maybe the first time outside of uh, comic books and in extra continuity you've seen evil Lynn without the helmet on um, and and there it is in an action figure form maybe maybe before I don't know I didn't collect the classics line I didn't have uh, millions of dollars to to throw away on the internet um, for for figures ten years ago um, so <laughs> I, although I do have money to throw away on these figures now um, but they're in retail space these are easily got you could go grab them right now um, they're they're still available at, uh, at Target Walmart wherever you like to go um, and this also a great looking head as well a very very awesome figure very posable um, you can get some great looking poses um, I'm gonna be excited to see what kind of poses I can get between all the different characters as uh, as we get them all opened up and uh, see what they look like uh, sort of interacting with each other they're gonna look awesome next to each other I just know it these are really impressive figures. I, I kind of come in, came in kind of wanting to shit on them a little bit, um, but for retail figures, standard figures that you're going to find find in the store, and believe it or not, I believe that this is the main Masters of the Universe line. The Origins line, that's a great sort of retro, uh, nostalgia-based line. The, uh, the other uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe line, that's for the kids' show. And those are, those are for kids, those are for little kids. And this, the Masterverse, um, is gonna be the main line. And I gotta believe that we're gonna get a lot more than just Revelation um, as the, the line moves forward um, into 2022, 2023, and beyond. Um, I've seen some some previews of, of things to come, and it looks like we are gonna get more than just the, just the Masters of the Universe Revelation. But as far as these Revelation figures go, they're pretty great. Okay, and here he is. It is Moss Man. Um, wow, look at Moss Man. You know, when I first saw these figures, I was probably only going to buy one of them. And it was gonna be this guy right here, Moss Man. Wow, look at the detail. Look at the different colors, all of the different uh, you know, greens and browns and tans and different earth tones that they use to make this guy look the way he looks. He looks like roots and reeds and vines and leaves and moss. And as he should, because he's Moss Man. And love the little detail of the leaf on the corner here. <laughs> On the, on the figure. Very, very cool. Um, it Almost, almost perfect, honestly. For a $20 figure, could you ask for more with this thing? I've got him fitted with the more claw open hands um, here, but he does come with other pairs of hands. He has a more more of a closed or, or slapping hand, uh, two of those. Also comes with uh, two more, sort of kind of a fist hands. Um, they're not all the way closed. They could hold things if you, if you gave him anything to hold. He didn't come with anything to hold, but he did come with this. Um, shooting out vines out of the, out of the, the right hand here. Um, very, very awesome. You can get a lot of cool poses with this. Um, and, and honestly, you didn't even need it um, for to make this figure worth it to me. Um, very, very awesome. My one gripe about it doesn't smell like pine. Yep, yep, doesn't doesn't bode well for Stinkor um, that comes later in the line. I believe he's Series 3, but uh, but yeah, um, doesn't smell like pine like the old school. The old school Moss Man from the 1980s was a flocked figure, and he smelled piney um, when you got him out of the box. Smelled awesome, and for years, you can still find them now, and they still smell. So I don't know what sort of... Uh, 
what, what sort of cancer causing chemicals or whatever they were putting on them back in the day to make them cause that but wow really really cool feature but you know this figure is pretty cool too he does come with this awesome feature great photographs great pose is great looks great great price um i really can't say enough good things about this figure this is one of my favorite things that i've opened so far um as far as uh, the masters of the universe sort of reboot or re-issue uh, this, this sort of revival that masters of the universe is having recently um this is one of my favorite things from it if, and again, if I was going to buy any of the figures um, from this series, I was going to buy this one. I planned on buying this one when I first saw it. Very, very awesome. And I'm glad I bought it. So that's Moss Man. All right. So at the end of the day, the big question is the Masterverse, Masters of the Universe Revelations figures, are they worth it? I gotta say yes at a retail price of around 20 bucks or maybe just a little bit more than 20 bucks. These figures have great accessories, great paint jobs, great articulation, um, um, everything that you could kind of want from an action figure, you're gonna get here. If you're not particularly interested in Masters of the Universe Revelations, hey, I'm not particularly interested in Masters of the Universe Revelations. I didn't watch it, didn't really care to, but these figures, honestly, are really, really awesome. And when you look at them, you know exactly who they're supposed to be. You don't need any context from a TV show or anything else like that to know who they're supposed to be at this point in time. These are iconic characters from the Masters of the Universe franchise, uh, if you will, different versions a little bit, a little tweaks, little changes here and there, but not so much that they have gone completely away from who they were supposed to look like. Because I, 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 for one, like these figures a lot. I do like the fact that if you really wanted these figures, you've been able to find them. They've been readily available at retail ever since they first started showing up. Um, they have uh, filled the shelves. You could probably go out right now and buy each and every one of these figures, and uh, they're really, really awesome. I would recommend it. If you're a fan of Masters of the Universe, if you're a fan of one of these particular characters, you, you got to get these figures. They're pretty awesome. The Masters of the Universe Revelation figures, the Masterverse figures by Mattel, pretty awesome. Well, that's Masters of the Universe Revelation figures. What did you guys think of these? Let us know in the comments down below. So when are we going to see the adult ones? These are the adult ones. Trick question, Gorilla. None of them are for adults. Anyway, we'll see you next time on the Dan Classic Show. Raz Holly, hit the music!